Hello everybody, thank you for joining us today on one of our how-to guides. We're going to create a botanic martini glass today. Greenery and natural products have become really, really popular in recent years for weddings and events, especially for weddings in barns, teepees, creates that rustic style with a botanical kind of feel, very ecologically sound. So the products that we're using today are 10 stems of amaranthus green spider, absolutely beautiful. We're using 10 stems of scabious stellata. We're using a bag of natural English reindeer moss. Five stems of brassica white crane. We've got a tray of assorted echeveria. So we've got different sizes and different colors. And we've got a bunch of tillandsia, fresh tillandsia moss. I'm using a wet sphere, 16 centimetre sphere. I've also got some carpet moss and then I've got my martini glass and my usual florist workbox. And importantly in that workbox, I'm including some stubble wires, green stubble wires. This one's a 0.90 by 300 millimetre. My scissors obviously. And I've also got some mossing pegs. <coughs> These ones are actually a three centimetre mossy. So I hope you enjoy.
have some top tips for you if you're going to recreate this style of arrangement. So top tip number one, don't stress about over soaking the sphere simply because the moss will actually soak up any excess water. So no problems there. If you're going to transport something like this to a venue, it's actually going to be quite difficult keeping it upright in transit. So I'd recommend that you line the martini glass first with the moss and then you can prepare the sphere, transport those separately, then when you're on site, put the sphere on top of the glass and then add your trailing items afterwards. So you could, top tip number three, make this up in advance. All the products here are really long lasting, so two to three days would be absolutely fine. Um, store them somewhere nice and cool and dry, but not too dark. Um, the Echeveras are not entirely happy in, in darkness. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's inspired you to have a go at something like this. Lots of moss, lots of texture. As I say, a real botanic feel to it. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips and hints and other designs to create. And we look forward to welcoming you back again very soon. Bye for now.